Today we're going to be looking at this new Freezer 36 from Arctic. There's various different models in the range including black, white and ARGB versions. This is a twin fan tower style cooler and it's been a while since we got one of these from Arctic and if it's going to be anything like its predecessors, especially the eSports Duo model from a few years back, then the performance should be amazing. <laughs> The Arctic Freezer 36 is a versatile CPU cooler, ideal for powerful modern systems. It offers a sleek design and is available in black, white or ARGB versions. The new fan mount supports various fans and direct touch heat pipes ensure efficient CPU cooling. Its open-sided heatsink design enhances airflow and the dual Arctic P fans in push-pull configuration provide robust cooling performance and it's compatible with the latest Intel and AMD platforms. The Freezer 36 is a top choice for enhancing your system's cooling efficiency. Exploring the packaging of the white ARGB version of the cooler reveals a clean white aesthetic with black accents. The front of the box shows a detailed illustration of the product and also tells you about the inclusion of the Arctic MX6 thermal paste. The front also notes that the cooler features a zero decibel mode for near silent operation under low loads and comes with a reassuring six year warranty. The compatibility of this cooler is very focused on supporting only Intel Socket 1700 that's generally used for 17th, 13th and 14th gen Intel CPUs alongside AM4 and AM5 on the AMD side of things. The back of the box provides detailed specs and a QR code for easy installation. The sides of the box also have QR codes to show you more about the product. Inside the box the components are thoroughly packed, mainly using eco-friendly paper and card, but there are a few bits of one-use plastic for things like screw packaging. The package includes the tower heatsink, it also comes with two fans which are the P12, PWM, PST, ARGB fans. Also inside you've got the mounting sets for the Intel LGA 1700 socket for generation 12 to 14 for Intel as well as AMD, AM4 and AM5 sockets. Additionally you also have Arctic's MX6 thermal paste as well as a logo sticker. The ARGB versions of this cooler are equipped with the P12, PWM, PST, ARGB fans. Non-ARGB versions are obviously included with the non-ARGB version of the cooler. We've reviewed these fans before and we've found that they perform exceptionally and they're also very quiet as well. The fan's ARGB lighting is centrally located on the spindle of the fan, opting for a more understated design without the additional edge lighting you may get on some fans. Installation of the fans onto the heatsink has been streamlined thanks to the fans being pre-fitted with screws which act like press studs enabling you to clip them directly into the heatsink with ease. This also means if you wish in the future to change the fans on the cooler you can do with ease by just changing out those screws what work as press studs. One thing to note when you do attach the fans make sure they are in the same orientation to keep the RGB effects synchronized. Each fan has a PWM cable for fan power and speed as well as a 5 volt ARGB connector for the lighting effects. These also have daisy chain capabilities so you can easily link them together. One thing worth pointing out about the fans is the cable length. The cable length is 20 centimeters, which sounds pretty good and obviously if you're daisy chaining them together it makes cabling a lot easier. But if your ARGB header is on the bottom of your motherboard like on a lot of motherboards the cable may not stretch that long 
so you may need a cable extension to bridge the gap. So in this first test, we're testing the temperature of the CPU when the fans are running at 50% speed. And here you can see the Arctic Freezer 36 came in at 63 degrees compared to the Arctic Freezer 34 at 64 degrees. So only one degree difference, but comparing it against the APNX cooler, it runs a lot cooler. Not as good as the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 5, but in all honesty, that is a lot more expensive cooler. Now in this test we're doing the same thing again, but instead of the average temperature, we're looking at the maximum temperature the CPU actually got up to. And here you can see the Arctic Freezer 36 with the two fans comes in at 87 degrees. We did do a one fan test as well, as you can see there, it comes in at 89 degrees. Compared to the AP and X at 95 degrees, it's running a lot cooler and actually performs better than the Dark Rock Pro 5 at the maximum temperature rating. Now we're repeating the same tests again, but this time we're running the fans at 100%, so flat out basically. This time you can see that the Arctic Freezer 36 got 57 degrees on average, compared to the old Freezer 34 at 61 degrees, so 4 degrees cooler, which is pretty good. Also beats the APNX cooler as well by a good margin, and again slightly behind that Dark Rock Pro 5, but as we said, that's obviously a lot more expensive cooler. Now again, we're doing the same test yet again. The fans are run at 100% speed, but we're looking at the maximum temperature. This usually happens when the actual CPU boosts, usually at the beginning of when you start doing something and gives it a little bit more juice to make sure that anything small gets done really quick. But here you can see the RT3 is a 36 coming in at roughly three degrees cooler than the old Freezer 34, and it actually beats out the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 5. In this test, we're looking at the decibel levels. The decibel levels in the room are 31 decibels, and the RT3 is a 36 came in at 33, so only two decibels above room decibel levels. That performs pretty well. If you did decide you just wanted to run one fan, it comes in at 32 decibels. But to be honest with you, you cannot hear that under normal situations. Compare that to the AP and X. Uh, cool, which came in at 43 decibels, and the Dark Rock Pro 5, which came in at 35 on the performance mode. Same test again, but this time the fans are flat out at 100%. The Freezer 36 comes in at 45 decibels, compared to the old Freezer 34 at 50, so 5 decibels quieter, which is pretty good, and it's also a lot quieter than the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 5 when it's running on performance mode, but the quiet mode on the Dark Rock Pro 5 actually does beat out all the others on there. It's challenging to pinpoint the exact factor why this cooler performs the way it does. It could be the unique mounting system, the heatsink design with those heat pipes, or the actual fans which are included. It could also be a combination of all these things together, but however you look at it, it is clear that the combination of these features result in a highly efficient cooling solution. The Arctic Freezer 36 excels with its minimalist design, superior cooling performance and extremely quiet operation and outperforms other rivals on the market and in some cases by a mile. Its eco-friendly packaging, easy installation and compatibility with the latest CPU sockets highlights its user-centric approach. The first issue I came across with the cooler is the cabling, mainly the ARGB cabling. If you want to stretch that to the bottom of your motherboard, because that's where your header is, you're going to struggle. Also, if you've got a hub at the back of your computer case, it may not stretch to that either, so you may need an extension cable. The only other issue is compatibility with Intel sockets. They only support the latest 17th gen CPUs, which is basically anything in the last two to three years. Anything before that, so if you've got an 11th gen CPU or older, it's not going to fit your Socket 1200 or 1150X motherboard. The innovative mounting system and advanced P12, PWM, PST, ARGB fans contribute to its standout performance, making it an excellent choice for users prioritizing effective thermal management and low noise levels in their builds. This cooler is a testament to successful integration of design and functionality.
I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think and we'll see you next time.